Hi everyone, I'm Simon from HomeSite, and today we're going to be setting up our Home Assistant for further customization by installing Hacks or Home Assistant Community Store. Let's go! So Hacks isn't anything new, it's been around a while, but it is really, really good. It's a great way of using custom integrations and themes, Lovelace cards, and installing them into your Home Assistant. Now previously you would have had to have do this by adding files and creating links to them. Now this is a great way of adding custom repositories and adding those integrations into your Home Assistant with a couple of clicks of a button. So hopefully you'll find this guide useful, hopefully you'll like this video and hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel. So logged into your Home Assistant instance, and the first thing we can do is go to the supervisor. Now if you haven't done so already, you need to install terminal and SSH. This is a really easy way of getting command line access to your Home Assistant. So I don't have this started on boot, so I've just had to start it up manually. And then I'm gonna click Open Web UI. It's a very simple configuration. If you haven't configured it, there's nothing to do, just install it. So once you're in here, there's a line of code to copy in. And that's gonna go off and get the hacks files, download them and install it for you. Now all of this is here under hacks.xyz. Now there is some prerequisites. You must be running a fairly modern version of Home Assistant. You must have a GitHub account, which we'll sort out in a minute. Once we've done all of that, we can, assuming that you're running the supervisor version of Home Assistant, this will work absolutely fine. So here we go, Home Assistant supervised. We're gonna copy this line of code here. and we're going to paste it into this terminal window. Here we go, and press enter. And it'll go off, it'll download those files, and it'll install it for you. Well, that's quite easy so far. Now it does say here that you will need to restart your home assistant. So go ahead and do that. Now whilst this is rebooting, now seems to be a good time to go off and check out my Instagram account, and also to like and subscribe to this channel. So now your Home Assistant's come back up, and you can see down here we've got confirmation Home Assistant started. Just check it's functioning normally, and then within the integrations, we can add hacks. Now it would not have been in this list before, so we can type in the search bar and simply install it. Now this will take a minute, but once it's finished, you'll get to this screen here, where you have to tick these boxes to know how to check the logs, no, there's, you know there are no add-ons in Hacks. You know everything inside Hacks is custom and untested by Home Assistant, which is really important. And you can disable all the custom components if you get any issues. The next thing you need to do is get that GitHub account. Now GitHub is where the software is stored essentially. So you can click the link and if you haven't got an account, you can simply follow it and enter your details like you would signing up to any other internet-based service. Now, within that process, you will get sent a code to your email to confirm you've got the right email address, and you need to enter that as well, of course. Now, once you're logged in, easiest way I find is to go back to your Home Assistant installation, where you're waiting on this stage here, copy this code, click that link again, now that we're logged in, and it'll take you straight to this page here, paste the code in, and hit continue. So you're now going to authorize that your hacks or your home assistant has access to this GitHub account. Now that's done, wait a second, and it should take you onto the next screen automatically. Now that that's done, you can just hit finish. And you can see that we've got hacks here. Now if you notice on the left hand side here, there's a little space where an icon may have appeared. If we refresh, the icon appears. Perfect. So now we can click on it. And we can get rid of these windows here and come into our hacks. And you can see here at the top, hacks is starting up. And we can click on our integrations. Now I've got a few integrations here already. I've got weather alerts. I've got 2UV2. But you can easily add some more. So there's a long, long list here. Shelley for Haas is mm, possibly not needed anymore. Um, but, but there's a lot in here. 
Now you can search, you, now automatically it'll be sorted by the number of stars that's received, but you can also do it by name and you can also use this search bar at the top. Now the search bar, interestingly, doesn't just use the name, it does search in the description as well. So if we were to find something manually like this one here, you can see it's got Samsung in the description. And if I simply type Samsung, it comes up at the top. Now you can see all of these here are integrations by the icon and the word here on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and install Sonoff LAN, not planning on using it actually, but you can see once you've clicked on one, it'll give you various guidance. Now some will have more than others of course, and it'll tell you what you need to do to install it. You can choose the software version, there may be a certain version that supports your devices, and hit install. Now with most of the integrations, they will come up and need a restart. And that is a full restart of Home Assistant, not just hacks. So we can go ahead, go into our configuration, server controls, always do a check configuration and do a restart. Now that that's back, we can go back in and have another look. So Hacks is still starting up from the most recent restart. So it does take a couple of minutes to get up fully working. So I've refreshed my screen there and we can see now we've got integrations and we've got front end. So if you go back into integrations, you can now see that Sonoff LAN has now started. And if you click on the three little dots and go to information, this should tell you how to use it. So this is how to add it on as part of Lovelace interface. It will give you configuration examples mostly. For example, you may have to copy some text into your configuration.yaml. You'll see there's a front end tab as well. Now I've added three things into here already. Now these can be cards into your Lovelace. They can also be themes for the whole entire Home Assistant. And you install them in exactly the same way as we've just done the other integration. So if I click on this big night theme and go to information, you'll see an example of it. This is what it looks like. And this is how to put it on. We go into configuration.yaml and we add that code. Easy. Now some of the integrations don't actually give you that much information, but they will give you a link. They'll give you a link where to go to find that information. For example, this one here. This one shows you what it'll look like, but it doesn't give you examples or how to use it. It takes you off to their GitHub page where it gives you how to use it. So you've got to this point, I take it you've got hacks installed and there's all sorts of things to explore in there now. So take a look for yourselves. I may well do another video on my top tips on things to install, but until then, thank you so much. I've been Simon from HomeSite. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel as well so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you very much.